Hello loves, it's that time again. It is the Dream Team's 2024 Tree Extravaganza. If you're ready to get some ideas and motivation for your holiday season, this is a great place to start. The Dream Team is bringing you some great ideas. But don't forget to click the subscribe button if you already subscribed. Don't forget to like and share. Each of the Dream Team links are in the description box below. So sit back and just click the links and you can get your Christmas tree on. Let's get started. I am starting with a King of Christmas 7 foot noble fur with warm lighting. This tree is great for minimal or modern design styles because of the sparse spaces between each row. I also will be decorating this tree without ornaments. Yes, you heard me correctly. There will be no ball or accent ornaments except for icicles on this tree. One thing about this type of of a tree, a noble fir tree, you don't fluff the branches too much. The sparse spaces between the branches is what gives it its character and if you fluff it too much it will lose that character of having that flat surface. So I am basically lifting up the, the branches out of a crunch state when it was packed just actually spreading them out a little bit so it will look like it's full. Now since I won't be adding any ball or shiny ornaments or accents, I must add something to the tree to keep from it looking boring and dull. So I will be adding a lot of branches and picks with glitter and different textures in shades of green. So here are the materials that I will be using on this tree. It's not very much, but the things that I've chosen should come together pretty nicely. So we'll be starting with our accent branches. The first one is one of my favorites, and that's this ice crusted branch. It is very, very crusted, but it gives a beautiful, beautiful accent to the limbs of the trees. It looks like ice laying on top of the tree and I love using this. So this is one of the branches I'll be using. The second branch is a little bit less crusted of ice. This is something that I will be placing on the branch um, that I just want a little ice to be shown and um, that's what these are. Next is the icicles. The icicles is an accent that I want to um, add to the limbs to give it a little shine. I love these icicles. They're very um, clear. Uh, they almost look like glass, but they actually are plastic. And they're very beautiful when the lights are on. So this is going to be something that will give an accent at the tip of the branches. Then we have these beautiful green picks. These picks here are picks that came from a garland of, I believe it was called um, fur garland. I forgot what it's called, but I love the texture of it. And it makes a good stuffing, stuffing um, for the tree. And I'll be using these for layers. And in this crate, we have two different types of branches. Right here in the back, we have the boxwood long stem branches with the frosted accent. These are gorgeous. This is going to give me that shimmer to keep from the tree looking dull. And we're going to be laying these on designated areas on the tree. Not all the tree limbs will not have this on it, um, but certain tree limbs with have this. This would give me the depth and the shine. And next we have another branch which is the um, noble fir branch I um, call it with the berries. 
these are gorgeous these very light powdered looking blueberries give me that ornament looking accent that I want to add in uh, other areas of the limb so as you can see I have different branches here to add to the limbs of the tree and it's going to be layered on the limbs with the frosted uh, picks and the frosted branches and it really going to give it that beautiful look a layered look that I'm looking for. We are getting ready to install our ribbon. This is the three inch gorgeous ribbon that I got from the Christmas Decorating Warehouse. I believe that's the name of the online store. Love that store. That's where I got all the greenery picks from. So this ribbon is a beautiful tan um, glitter ribbon and I'm going to coil it and install it inside the tree. Now everybody know I decorate differently and that's the reason why I call it freestyle because it's a unorthodox way of doing things and I don't do things traditionally. So we're trying to get this ribbon inside this tree as close as we can to the center pole so the pole cannot be seen but we also want the ribbon to drape along the branch um, and uh, have a nice little flow look so that's what we're trying to do here so this is what it looks like I am pretty pleased of how it looks um, I still need to do some tweaking here and there but um, all in all it's basically what I envision so very different, um, but I like it. So next is the um, boxwood pick. Now we're going to install this on some of the branches, not all of the branches, and I'm going to stick this as far as I can to the center of the pole and then bring each branch out um, and integrate it into the pine tree branch. So I want it to look natural but very drapey. Um, this would give us a nice little shine on the branches. And this is our first layer on our tree branch. So we have about a couple of more layers to go. The next layer are the crusted ice branches. This is the second layer and we're going to intertwine the um, pine branch and the boxwood branch together so it looks like it's all one piece and we're just going to make sure that we don't disrupt our flow of our boxwood branch here so that's what I'm doing here just weaving it in and out so it comes together nicely as you can see here um, everything is it looks like one piece and I like how it looks and this is the second layer on our tree branch now we come to the third layer on our tree branch now this is going on the branches with the berries I just want a little shine on the berries as you see here it's just a gentle little shine because I didn't want to cover up the berries with the very heavy ice branch so these light um, crusted ice branch does the job nicely you can still see the berries and um, it just gives it a nice little frost the icicles are the last layer on the tree limbs. I think it gives the tree movement and it also reflects the light once the light is on. I also love it because it completes the story of the tree. Some of the branches has three um, icicles, some have four, some has two and some has one. I wanted a variety. I didn't want all of the branches with the icicles to look the same. And I'm loving how everything looks. So this is what it looks like and now I'm going to share with you what the whole tree looks like.
to the end of the video. So you must like what you see. Why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel? It doesn't cost a thing and I love to have you part of the Bree Style family. Also, click the notification bell twice so you'll be notified when I upload. I see you on the next one. Smooches!